Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. This is a video I've been waiting a while for, and that is our first real trucking vlog. Now, if you watched our previous video, uh, that was technically also a trucking vlog, but we didn't actually do any trucking. This one, we're actually doing some trucking. It is literally my first day solo, so that means you guys are here right from the start of this whole journey of mine, and you guys are going to get to see all the best, all the worst, and everything in between. I'm going to show you guys all of it. Every mistake I make, you guys are going to get to watch. Uh, all the triumphs I have, you guys are going to get to enjoy with me, and I hope you guys are excited as I am. I've got uh, kind of a lot to still do this morning before we get to actually go trucking. There's a message that popped up on my uh, my like tablet thing. Uh, it's called an IVG. You'll probably hear me mention that a lot. So message popped up on my IVG that I don't know how to handle, and I tried calling somebody, and they didn't pick up yet because I don't know if they're actually in office yet. So we got to handle that. I've got a lot of stuff kind of spread out through the throughout the truck still, because again, if you watched the last video, you will already know this. But if you didn't, um, we kind of ended up here late last night, and we need to get home so that I can get sleep. So I didn't actually get to put away all the stuff that we brought on our last trip. So I might start doing some of that, and we're just gonna kind of go from there. Most of the footage that you guys are gonna see is going to be from my hat GoPro. Um, however, right now I'm recording from my, uh, actual camera, but, uh, yeah, we're going to kind of use a mix of those two things. And then also, um, as you can see, I've got a dash cam as well. So I'm going to use some footage from there as well. We're going to kind of see how this goes. I don't know. I've got, I've got a lot in store, so I guess let's go trucking. Well, we're off to a fantastic start. I just all of a sudden was like, you know, I don't recall seeing my, uh, my like payment card, my company card, you know, and sure enough, I don't have it, not in my wallet, like I thought maybe it was, um, so I must have left that at home or in my car or something, which I would assume is a very big problem, um, Al dropped me off, so I don't have any way to get back home, so at the moment, I don't know what's happening, I sent a message and I'm waiting for a reply, it's been like 20 minutes, but yeah, not not off to a great start. So remember how I said you were going to see the best and the worst? Well, we're not starting off on a great note. <laughs> okay, the situation is not as terrible as I thought. Uh, my driver manager responded, said I can go in and get a new one from our payroll team. The only issue is that now I'm going to have to, like, log out of my account that we have to, like, control it and then re-verify all my bank accounts and stuff. So that's going to be annoying. But, hey, got to do what you got to do. All right, so now we play what I hear is the usual game that you play in trucking, and that is the waiting game. Um, so, yeah, my, my driver manager said uh, for me to just wait to have a load before I do anything. So I'm going to hang out. That gives me some time to kind of, again, finish getting everything lined up, put where I want it. And, uh, sorry, I'm really bad at, like, looking away from the camera. I need to just stay looking at the camera. I, I don't know why I look at other stuff. I guess I look at other stuff to try and figure out what I'm going to talk about. Cause like, okay. Anyways, um, I, there I go, looking away again, immediately. Anyways. See, this is why I look away. Now I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, yes, playing the waiting game. So, yeah, I messaged my driver manager, and my driver manager said for me to just wait for a load before I go and hook up to an empty or do my pre-trip get do any on duty things she said don't go on duty until we send you a message with a load so i said sounds good so that said i'm going to get all the footage off of my camera from the video that you guys have already seen I, at this point i all of it is still on the gopro so i'm going to get all that footage off and then uh, maybe download some new music or something to get get ready for my first long drive and I think that'll that'll be it for now. But yeah, I'll catch up with you guys once I've got a load. Dude, when people said trucking was a lot of waiting, they apparently were not kidding. It is now almost 1 p.m. I got here at 7 a.m. this morning and uh, still don't have any information on what's going on. So I, I would assume this is probably normal. I mean, especially with me being new, I'm, I, I'm sure that they probably have a bunch of people they want to get loads for and they're probably prioritizing other people, which makes sense i mean it, like trucking is a lot of uh, uh about seniority <laughs> i've learned i'm the rookie this is just what we get so i was really hoping that by getting here at 7 a.m i could have a load kind of early and then not have to drive at night i i definitely don't want to drive at night uh, unless i absolutely have to and it's looking like i'm gonna have to tonight so i mean i guess i guess it'll depend i don't know 
Okay, we have got our first load. Um, we are going and picking up in Toledo at a Georgia Pacific. And then I'm not going to say where we're going just yet, just because I don't know how long I'm going to take to upload this. I, I, I want to, for my safety and the safety of the cargo and the truck and everything, I don't want to say where I'm going to be or anything like that. Just, uh, again, it's just a personal thing. Um, I'm sure I probably could and it'd be fine, but just for personal reasons, don't want to say until the video is uploaded, you know, or like, until I'm done with the load, then I can say what it is. I think you get what I'm saying. But either way, I gotta get moving. I don't know again how much of this I'm actually gonna end up recording because my focus is gonna be actually doing my job. But wanted to let you know, guys know I've got a load and hopefully we'll have some footage for you soon. All right, now is the time where I would normally throw on my uh, my hat cam here, but um, because I'm in our yard, I just feel a little weird about it. So I'm not going to yet. I'll throw on the hat cam and stuff once I'm actually like out on the road. All right, so, sorry it's gonna be a little loud, but um, this is a live load. So we have just hooked up to a empty trailer, a pre-trip to the trailer. Um, we have got directions to where we're going. That is one of the things that I really like about this company is that they send you all the like turn by turn directions for the whole route. So. Uh, that is super super nice. They also let you know like hey the, your GPS might tell you to go this way Don't do that for this reason, you know um, So that's pretty cool. So yeah, we're gonna head down to Toledo and Get our load going get get live loaded All right, we are officially on our first solo trip This is so crazy. I'm like I'll admit I'm super super paranoid, right? Of course but uh, I'm also super excited. It feels so good to like be in a truck on my own and uh, and really be doing this thing that I've been dreaming about for so long. It like like uh, just to think that you know so many years of doing this virtually <laughs> through American Truck Simulator, you know, and uh, and here we are, however many years later, you know, ten ten years later, basically. And, and I'm doing the real thing. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Life is crazy. I'm feeling very, very thankful to be here uh, and be doing this, you know, and I know to any other trucker out there, you know, or a lot of other truckers out there, they're probably like, oh yeah, enjoy, enjoy that feeling while you can because it goes away fast, you know, but I think that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm enjoying, enjoying these good feelings while I can. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. And I'm also excited because this first pickup area is, is somewhere that I'm familiar with. And, uh, and even like the whole trip is I'm, I'm fairly familiar with. So I think that'll be a good way to kind of ease into all this. I'm just, I'm so excited, so thankful. And I, I will say one thing that I'm already not super thankful for is I am governed to 61 miles an hour, which I'll be honest, I plan to go the speed limit anyway. Uh, so while I'm, you know, in Oregon and I will say I'm going to California later on this trip, um, so while I'm in those two states, that won't be a problem, but eventually when I start going to other places, I have a feeling that that will get kind of annoying. So yeah, I, I guess that's the only bummer part that I'm finding so far. But aside from that, everything's going smooth and uh, we'll hope it stays that way. So we got about an hour and a half, probably closer to two hours really to get to um, our, our pickup location in Toledo and then we've got a live load so that'll probably I, I usually estimate live loads take like two hours um obviously i hope that it'll be shorter than that but you never know sometimes it is shorter than that sometimes it's longer than that but uh, i estimated for two hours and then i'll probably just do a short drive over to a truck stop in albany it'll probably be like an hour or so drive over to a truck stop in albany um, again, I think I've talked about this already. I prefer not to drive at night, so um, this load is not due for a few days, and it will take less time to get there than how much time has been given to me. So rather than drive through the night and then get all wonky on my schedule, I think I'd rather just um, drive over somewhere, sleep through the night, and then get up tomorrow morning bright and early and do a full day of driving tomorrow. We are coming up on our exit from I-5, so we are going to be about 55 miles off of I-5 once we get to our uh, shipper, and it's, again, this is going to be kind of cool for me, especially 
because this is a route that like I used to drive this all the time I went to college at, at Oregon State um, which it, we're gonna literally drive right past um, on our way to where we're going and uh, we, my wife and I would go to the coast pretty often so we would actually drive right by uh, not necessarily to or through Toledo but we would drive like right by it um, Toledo's right off of the highway that you take to get to the coast. This is, this is just gonna be really cool for me to like now be driving this in a in a semi all these years later. I make mean, it sound like that was forever ago. I graduated like a few years ago, so not super long ago, but still pretty cool. And I'm also thinking of maybe tonight staying the night at this uh, rest stop that's off here to the left. Um, but I don't know. I might. Uh, we'll see how long the the live load takes because if the live load takes a super long time then, I mean, sorry, if the live load doesn't take a really long time, then I might get back on the freeway and uh, and take, you know, take it down a little ways and get to a rest stop. Um, also, who knows, that rest stop may be full. I've seen that rest area full many, many times. So we will have to see. All right, are we gonna make the light? Wow, we are. Sweet. And there goes my water. Oh my gosh. Regular gas is only 339 here. It's like 389 where I live. Way cheaper here. I'm jealous. I guess that's the one one main thing I miss about living down here is everything was less expensive. <laughs> wave back but I always try and wave or like flash my lights or you know do something to uh, just say hi to all the other maid drivers don't you do it buddy I see you inching forward there why wow, there's a Chima yard there I didn't know that I thought Chima was like East Coast that must be fairly new because that I don't recall that being there when I lived down here I could be totally wrong who knows it also is kind of cool to be back down here because uh, we just passed through Albany a little bit ago. I didn't record that, obviously, but um, Al Albany is just like a, a couple miles that direction. Um, and one of my last jobs during college, so before I graduated, um, I say last jobs, like I had other jobs in college. One of my only jobs during college when I was close to being done was a delivery driving job and it was for a paint company. So I would deliver kind of all over this area delivering paint to all kinds of different places. And that was, I think, kind of what really ignited my love for driving for, for work, you know? Um, but I wanted to try some jobs with my degree that I got. And um, I, I will admit I kept missing that job. I kept missing driving, you know, all driving all day, every day. And I had, I had one job that I liked enough that I, I wanted to keep it, but uh, then they did a company-wide layoff. And unfortunately I was one of more than a thousand employees that got laid off. So that was not super ideal, obviously. I, I think honestly, if I hadn't been laid off, I might still be at that job but that was not in the cards. And here we are now doing this instead. And again, this was something I had kind of always dreamed of, but I had, you know, I knew it would be hard on me and my family to like be on the road all the time. Especially I knew it would be hard on my wife to be gone from home all the time. But um, I don't know, I just felt called to do this. And, uh, and here we are. And again, it is a big sacrifice. My wife is already not having a great time, I'm sure. I also am obviously not having a, a perfect time. You know, I, I hate being away from her, but um, it is still cool to do, again, something that I've dreamed of since I was a little kid. So, yeah. I'm, I don't know. It, trucking vlogs are weird for me because so many different... I, I watch so many different truckers, like truck vloggers, and they all do something different. You know, some just like record the, the nitty gritty, like, hey, I'm here, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm, well, you know, whatever. And then there was uh, other, you know, vloggers that would watch that would talk, you know, for a long time, like during their trip. And that was how they did it. And uh, I, I like both. So 
I don't know, I guess we'll see what ends up happening, but either way, I, I think that's enough of me for now, so uh, I'll probably catch up, to, catch up with you guys again in a little bit. So I was saying how when we lived, so we passed through Oregon State already, I didn't record that, but passed through Oregon State already, and I said when we lived at Oregon State, you know, we would drive this highway to get to the coast, but I actually forgot to mention the fact that we actually used to live along this highway, so we're about to drive by, or yeah, we, being me and you guys that are watching, uh, are about to drive by the uh, spot where my wife and I used to live, so uh, I wanted to point it out because I just feel like it's kind of cool that we're literally driving right by it. We still miss this house. We talk about this house pretty often that like, I don't know, it was, it was just, it was a really cool layout, like the whole bottom floor was like all very open, um, Philomath, the, the city that we're about to drive through is just like a, well, it's not even a city, it's like a town, it's a cute little town, um, you know, small atmosphere, really like it, this park was all, we would go to this park pretty often, um, but yeah, we used to live in this neighborhood, literally right here, um, and yeah, we loved it, it was just, it was such a cool little neighborhood, the only thing that I, I didn't like about it is that we didn't have a garage and uh, we were shared a wall with somebody else. But aside from that, it was a pretty sweet setup. We, we really liked it. So we have arrived at our shipper. I'm just setting you guys up where you are so that, that way I can keep working while you guys are listening to me. What we're gonna have to do, uh, the person at the front desk, super nice. I told her it was my first time uh, literally ever doing this and she was like, don't worry, we'll try and make it easy for you. So it is pretty easy actually. Um, so I basically just pull my trailer over. I don't have to back in any docks or anything, which is super sweet. Um, actually, all I have to do is uh, drive this trailer over to spot B39. Um, I drop the trailer, well, slide the tandems first, then drop the trailer. And then uh, once I have done that, I bobtail over to a different parking spot, park, and then, um, Oh, B39 is, I believe, that one right there. That one's definitely numbered 39, so I would assume it's going to be B. Um, so yeah, I bobtail over, and then somebody else comes and picks up the trailer. Uh, they load it up, and then we wait until they call me to tell me that it's ready. <laughs> so yeah, sounds pretty straightforward. Hopefully it actually is. <laughs> All right, she told me very specifically that the truck needs to be facing that way, so I assume all these trailers that are facing 
this way are all ones that have already been loaded. Um, now the only unfortunate thing about being in spot B39 here is that this guy is kind of in my way that, and makes it so that I can't just pull straight through, but that's okay. I can still at least pull through enough and then uh, and then it'll just be a straight back back into the spot so that's not terrible just not exactly what I wanted but again it's fine so we'll just pull way out here and then we'll go ahead and throw her in reverse Get her backed up into this spot here. Alright. And then we'll get out here and we will slide the tandems. are not working that's not ideal there we go I mean I know I'm about to unhook anyway but might as well make sure that the trailers okay before I have them loaded up so we are sliding all the way to the back and there we go we'll give it some air and then take the air away again Give it a little bit of a rock. Or a big rock, I guess. And then we will go make sure that all of the pins came out. We are all good. So I am going to back the trailer up just a little bit and then drop it. And that should do it. Everything is unhooked. So now we drop and we go park next to the other May truck. All right, and I can tell you guys already, I forgot to do something. And that is send a macro that says that I made it here. All right, and then I'm gonna also check the rest of my notes just to make sure I didn't miss anything else. Okay, there is nothing else I missed, so now I change my duty status and we wait for <laughs> who knows how long until my trailer is loaded, so. There we have it. We're on sleeper berth, and uh, yeah, now now we hang out. Okay, back onto the nice camera now uh, because we're hanging out for a bit. Uh, it was really funny. So, like I said, I told her the person at the front desk that it was my first ever load, and uh, she goes, <laughs> she goes, "Is it a live load?" I go, "Yeah," and she goes, "Oh, they must not like you very much." <laughs> I was like, I, I don't think I did anything to make them not like me. And she's like, no, I'm just messing with you. But that is kind of dirty that they made you do a live load for your first ever load by yourself. Um, and we got a good kick out of that. But yeah, there's our trailer right over there. And uh, now we just, we just wait for it to get taken and then brought back. So I'm probably going to hang out. I don't know. I might take a nap or something. I literally have no idea. They're, they said they're going to call me when it gets picked up, and they're going to call me when they drop it back off. So, um, hopefully, if I do fall asleep or something, uh, that will wake me up. <laughs> Again, as promised, I said I'd take you guys through all the best and the worst. And, uh, well, the first day is not going well. So, obviously, it is, uh, as you can see by the fact that the only light in here is from the lights of the truck, it is now a lot later. Um, it is now... Let's see how long have I been here okay I've been here been here a little over three hours um, and I just got a call about five minutes ago um, that apparently one of the yard hostlers accidentally deleted my BOL so my load is now non-existent um, and so they told me to call my dispatch and have them just make me a new load and all that kind of stuff and there's nobody to do that so because because of how late it is 
it's only the night crew at work right now. None of the like customer service people or driver managers or any of the people that are in charge of making loads and dispatching them are uh, there right now. So I now have to wait until 7 a.m. tomorrow and then uh, hopefully they'll be able to make me a new load and then I'll be able to take that. But yeah, not the ideal first day. Definitely not the ideal first day. So, yeah, now I'm, at least I will say, this is one good thing. First off, the person on the phone, very, very sweet. Uh, again, same same person that was there when I, you know, uh, like, same person at the uh, check-in thing. Sorry, my mind is all scrambled. Same person at the check-in thing. She called me again, and she she was very, very apologetic. She was like, I don't know how this happened. I'm so sorry, you know. Um and then I called back after finding out that I would have to wait until 7 a.m. And I was like, is it okay for me to spend the night here? And uh, not, it's not okay where I am at directly, but um, she's going to send over a yard hostler to, um, for me to follow. I'm going to follow them to somewhere that I can spend the night. So that's kind of nice. I will be able to spend the night somewhere on the property, um, and I at least will be somewhere safe and hopefully have... A bathroom <laughs> but uh yeah what a day what a first day <laughs> okay it is now the next morning uh well, this is where we got parked last night so we're just like kind of in a different part of the property of georgia pacific got some other may drivers here uh we've got one porta potty for <laughs> us and there was there was a lot more trucks here last night i think there was like five or six but I guess a lot left early, but um, this is where we got put, and it is now about 8.15 in the morning, and I have not heard anything yet on a new load for me. Okay, we have finally got our new load information. I think it's like 10-something, almost 11 maybe, but it is the same load, uh, just now it's due a day later, so it all worked out nice and smooth. All right, we are at the shipper now. Um, of course, continuing with my string of wonderful luck, uh, right as I was walking up to the front desk to talk to the people, um, apparently the empty trailer that I had dropped last night was being taken. It, it was loaded and was being taken. Um, so they said that they have to find me a new empty trailer, go load it, and then they'll call me and let me know when it's ready. Um but they said that they would have to find a trailer first. So I have no idea how long all this is going to take. Also, check out the new headset. I've got Al on the phone right now. Uh, she is saying hi to you guys, but I, you guys can't hear her even though I can. But yeah, dude, bone conduction headset. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so that's the current update. It is now, uh, it is now almost 12 o'clock. So I've been here, I think, like almost an hour and uh, have no update, aside from what I just told you. Okay, it has now been a total of over three hours, but we finally got a trailer. Um, I mean, I don't have it hooked up yet, but they're bringing it out to me right now, and then we're gonna get hooked up and get rolling. I'm gonna have to redo my entire trip plan and figure out where I'm staying and all that kind of stuff, but at least <laughs> we finally have a load, and, uh, and we'll be able to get on the road here in a minute. All right, so obviously we are already on the road now. Um, I did not record, uh, like, scaling my load or hooking up to it or anything like that there was just you know with that being my first time and everything uh i wanted to be sure i got everything right and you know i, I already had enough nerves and everything on its own i didn't want to uh enough nerves and enough stress i didn't want to try and stress over making sure i recorded you know uh <laughs> any of the the process so um we've got our load we're on the road obviously uh we scaled we were at about 12,000 on the steers. We were at 31,800 on the drives, and then we were at a little over 30,000 on the trailer. So we are scaled all good. Um, obviously, it's a little wet out, so I'm taking it a little slow. Uh, I'm only I'm going like 10 below the limit at the moment. I'm sure these people behind me are pissed, but we're about to get a passing lane, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, we're we're fairly heavy. Uh, I, I, this is actually the heaviest load I've had so far. Um, even with my mentor, I had one load that was like 40,000, so just a thousand pounds heavier than that, uh, is what we're at right now. But even still with this being kind of my first time 
driving such a, a heavy load on my own and also with the weather and everything, I'm just taking it nice and slow, keeping it patient and everything. Um, but yeah, we're, we're all set, we're on the road. Uh, we're gonna take a def stop in Central Point, Oregon. And then um, we are also going to stop in Grants Pass and that's where we're gonna take a 10 hour break. So um, yeah, we've only got a few hours, well, yeah, four hours or so um, to where we get to our, where I'm gonna take our, our rest break. I know I have like way more time, I could keep driving, but I have to break it up into three days no matter what. So might as well today just, you know, keep it easy, get down to Grants Pass, rest overnight, and then pick it back up in the morning. I prefer driving during the day. Um, so I'm gonna try and drive during the day as much as I can. I would really like to avoid driving at night at all costs. And I know there's drivers at this company that do that and still hit their bonuses and everything. So. Um, I think we'll be all good there, but that is the current plan. So we're just gonna keep cruising. And next time I'll actually talk to you guys, we'll probably not be until we're getting close to our either rest stop or our def stop. I actually don't know which one comes first. So we'll see. stop for the night sorry that I keep explaining things after they happen instead of recording them while they happen again it, there's a lot going on I'm I'll admit I'm super stressed out um, I just had a, another very stressful experience which I'm about to tell you about but again th that's why I brought up sorry that I keep telling you about things after they happen but anyways we're at our rest stop originally I had planned like I said to stop at that rest area in Grants Pass I think that was the last thing I updated you guys on Central Point where I was supposed to get my def was actually after that rest area. So I decided, okay, I'll just rest at the same place I'm getting my def at. Well, that place was absolutely packed. Um, it was a complete nightmare. I ended up, I think at one point I was going the wrong way and then uh, trucks stacked up and then I ended up getting out, taking the exit and then having, cause I was looking for a parking spot, right? To spend the night and then I was gonna get def in the morning, but then I couldn't find a spot and ended up getting to the exit. And once you get to the exit, you're screwed basically. So I had to get back on the freeway, go up to the next exit, turn around, come back to come back and get my def because the company is very specific about where you get your def. So yeah, that was just, that was such a nightmare. And it was, it was super packed, super tight, like getting into the fuel islands and everything. And then obviously I'm, I'm super tired and uh, I still did not have somewhere to sleep. So I had to find somewhere and uh, I found this place that I ended up at, which is just like 15 minutes south from there. But uh, yeah, then I had to back into a spot and it's just, it's all, I was already super stressed out, of course. So like backing into the spot was not necessarily difficult, but because I was already like at my limit for stress, it, uh, it just did not go well. And again, I'm sure any 
experienced truckers are going to be like, yep, that's every night, you know, or whatever. But like I said, I am a rookie. This is literally my first full day solo. Yeah, I've just, I've got a lot to learn and I got to learn how to manage that stress and manage those moments and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, this is this is the reality of being a rookie truck driver, I guess, is uh, making making mistakes and stuff like that. I I should have just stayed the night at that Grants Pass rest area because uh, I passed it and it was completely empty, or almost empty, and I I should have just stayed the night there. You know, I should have known that an actual truck stop would be super packed at you know eight or nine o'clock at night or whatever time it is right now. But either way, we made it. I'm gonna go inside, go to the bathroom. Uh, come back out, eat, because I'm starving. I literally haven't eaten, like, anything that was actual food yet today. I've only had snacks. So, I'm going to go do those things. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. Again, obviously, the trip's not done, but I'll continue that trip, or continue this trip in the next vlog. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. I do really appreciate it. Please, again, let, let me know any feedback you have on what things you liked about this video, what things you didn't. I would really appreciate it. Um, if you guys ever see me out on the road, I'm Truck 22038 for May Trucking Company. So if you see me out on the road, uh, give me a wave. Or uh, if, if you're from YouTube, give me like a pinky or something so that I know you're, you're saying hi to me from YouTube. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.